YouTube's on. Anything you say now is live on YouTube. Okay, here we go again. Wait, what would you label as All right, guys, let's try this again. Hello, I am Tara from livingonadime.com, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook, where we what? just found 400 classic Dining on Dimes in our garage that Mike didn't know were classics. And so we have them 50% off, livingonadime.com, click on the store. 50% off until they're gone. We want these puppies gone. No Facebook. Still no Facebook? Well, can we just get my phone and just go live on my phone? No. Why? You want to. Because. We don't have enough bandwidth to do both properly. We can try. Yeah. I thought they were snazzing up our internet. They are after we get back. Oh, we have an in August? It's not even available to upgrade until the 28th. We send one oh. stream to the internet, and then it broadcasts out from it, the internet. So well, we can we do it from done. my data? We could try. Do you I have unlimited data? Do we want to stop and not have this discussion while we're live, or do we want to... Well, we've already started once, so I don't think we should stop and... I just didn't know if we want to be solving the problem while we're live. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Get, you can get your phone if you want. Okay, my phone's in my purse, Dave. The tripod's in the office. Okay, so anyway, we are back. And just so you guys know, homemadesoapmakingsupplies.com. I found a bunch of inventory that we misinventoried. Did I mention I'm not good with details? Um, <laughs> and I just want it all gone. So uh, it's 50% off. Coupon code is 50% off. Pretty easy there. Um, I've got several of my goat milk cream. I restocked the shea butter shampoo and soap and my dead sea salts, guys. Everybody loves my dead sea salts. So while we're waiting for Mike, let me read you a little testimonial, which I was actually happy about today. I received the dead sea salt scrub and the oatmeal, um, goat milk cream today. I think I might be out of the oatmeal meal, but I do have unscented still. I tried them both immediately and I'm in love, capitals! Not only do they work phenomenally, but they smell amazing. My hands were so soft after using the scrub and they didn't even need cream, but of course I wanted to test the cream too. It goes on beautifully and it absorbs quickly. That's why I love it. Leaving my hands feeling soft and moisturized without any sticky, greasy residue left behind. And the best part, I have psoriatic arthritis. Don't know how to say that. And I have a patch of psoriasis on each wrist, which makes finding good lotions and cream difficult because they either make the psoriasis worse and the itch is unbearable or they burn, which triggers a flare up. So I'm in pain because of it. This cream does none of that. I'm absolutely obsessed with these products and wish I had ordered 10 more. Good for you, Melissa. I am so happy that it helped and thank you for praying for us. We really appreciate it. No, you just had a slushie. You don't need a popsicle. Um, okay, so I'm stalling for just a minute. Oh, thanks, Shell, okay. for the super chat. Um, we are getting my phone set up for Facebook here, so just give me a couple minutes. I'm not sure how you aim the camera with that one. Because Did you pinch your fingers? Are you okay? How do you aim the camera on this? Just like that. It's already aimed yeah, at me. Yeah, but going down and up and all over the place. When we do the down and up, there's going to be a lot of effort. We're going to have to edit this beginning of this when we go to the It's record. okay. I know. I'm just saying. You don't want to edit all the way. Um, <laughs> Sabrina, let me check and see if I have any titanium dioxide left here. Okay, hold on, guys. We're trying to get for Facebook figured out here. Um... Titani. Do you, Dave? Oh. Mm. This is... uh, let me check here for you. No, it's in there, Sabrina. It's. I still have some in stock. Why don't you go back in, Sabrina, and reorder? Because it's still in stock. I have a whole bunch of it in stock, actually. Um. Okay. So yes, YouTube. I am stalling for just a minute. Um because we had an issue, we're having technical issues. 
Apparently, Facebook Mike sent Facebook a message saying we're changing something, and he didn't. <laughs> Facebook sent a message on Friday when I was gone, uh, and they have been. And they changed it by Monday. That's well, not yeah. very much time to get your. Usually, I get 18 AI. messages saying, "Look out, it's coming," but this time it wasn't. Okay. How do you? I don't know how to go. Okay, so let's see. Made lemon bars out of dining on dying faith this weekend. Yay! Have What's the matter? Yeah, I have to set up live because we're not enough of us know how to do it. Um, you better do it on the Wi-Fi, even though it might crash the whole thing. Because if you do it on data, I don't think we have enough data. Um. Okay. So let's see if we can get it going here. <laughs> All right. Aisha says, what? We, wait, we can still order soap? Yes. So I opened the store back up because some people had me hold stuff and they didn't buy it. And then I, I can't even get anything now. I can't get on Facebook. Why was I able to get on Facebook on here, but not on here? Well, are you logged in on can we... Yeah. I never stream from your phone to Facebook, so I have no idea. Well, it's not letting me go to Living on a Dime. Can we, like... Hmm. Okay, well, forget Facebook today. Sorry, guys, if you're on Facebook normally. Sorry. Okay. So, Dining on a Dime Cookbook Classic Edition, page 276. We are making the Honey Spice Snaps. And then the recipe is on the oven baked chicken that's on the front page of livingonadime.com. And I'm going to make the oven baked chicken. I saw that and I thought, well, that sounds kind of good for dinner. So that one is going in our next cookbook uh, that we probably won't get done for Christmas by now. Uh, there's like probably a 10% chance it'll be done by Christmas now. But that's okay. You guys can order it in February and all will be well. So, all right, here we go. Honey spice snaps. Now, you need... Brown sugar, and I don't have a full cup of brown sugar. All I have is a half a cup. <laughs> so I'm gonna adapt and overcome. So I'm putting in a half a cup of brown sugar and just doing the rest with regular sugar. This is showing you guys how to substitute and adapt when you need to, okay? And then, oh, Dave, I forgot my egg. Can you hand me an egg, please? Um, Sorry. That's okay. Life goes on. Thank oh. you, sir. All right, so I'm going to cream. And can you hand me the beaters out of there? I'm going to cream my <clears throat> butters. No, not my butters. My shortening. What am I creaming? I am creaming my brown sugar and my shortening, okay? So, for those of you who are new to shortening, first of all, for all the comments we're gonna get, shortening is not gonna kill ya. If you have a donut, you eat shortening uh -oh, all the time. Oh, we just got 534 dislikes. <laughs> 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 Yeah, sorry we were down for a few minutes there, guys. We were trying to get Facebook on, but it didn't work. So. Okay, so you fill up your measuring cup. So for this one, I need three quarters of a cup of shortening. So I have one and one quarters cups of water in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop my shortening in here until it reaches two cups. Okay? Then, what you do is you can either dump the water off or you can just pull your shortening out and drain it and put your shortening in. And that is how to easily measure your shortening, okay? So now we're gonna cream these two together, the shortening and the sugars. egg I got for free. Lady at church has 140 eggs and the farm stand next door to her was going to sell them. And 
one of the neighbors complained about his farm stand and so she has 144 chickens laying egg every day. <laughs> so, 44. So she brought them to church <laughs> and was giving them out. So oh, I was very thankful. Okay, now to measure your honey or corn syrup, take your measuring cup, spray lightly with your cooking spray, or if you're using oil, measure your oil first and then do your honey or your corn syrup. And, um, go right here. That's a lot of honey. There we go. Okay. So there's the honey. Wait, what are these again? And see how it just slips right out? It just comes out smooth as butter. <laughs> All right. What are oh, these that again? does look good. Huh? What are these? Honey spice snaps. It's a spice cookie, which Jamie will be getting some tomorrow. Oh, oh. So be prepared, Jamie. So is the chicken that's on the oven a different thing? Yeah. That dinner? Okay, so we're mixing these up. Okay. There we go. Let me scrape down my bowl here. All right, now we're going to put in our spices. Oh, Na uh, Jack, Nan says, hey, Jack, my main man. Mm -hmm. oh, sh oh, did you see Shell's super chat already? Yes. Thank you, Shell. Appreciate that. All right, so I got my ginger in, I got my salt. The world needs more salt, salt people. Yes. <laughs> okay. And cinnamon. Hey guys, Elizabeth was reminding everyone to make sure that you're on live chat and not top chat or else you won't see all of the comments. No. Why not? Because you just had a slush. <laughs> okay, now normally I do not buy my cinnamon like this. Uh, the Walmart great value little ones like this are actually the best dill per ounce, even over the dollar store, unless one or the other has changed it, but last I checked. Um, so normally I get it in this size from Walmart. They didn't have any and I needed it for the show, so that's why I got the big one that time. But normally, just so you know, I don't buy cinnamon in bulk like that. Now, the cloves, these were at the Dollar Tree over Christmas, and this was a better deal. So just no your prices guys because sometimes things are better and sometimes they're not okay and then we've got our baking soda right there i keep mine in this little jar because it's easier to use now before i put my flour in i always um what do you call it mix up my spices and my leavening agent first okay make sure that my baking powder or my baking soda don't get um, clumpy in there. Uh, while we're live, there's no way for you to know how much of anything we have, right? Huh? While we're live, there's no way for you to know if we have anything available in the soap store, right? Well, I can look it up. Why? What's, what are they looking for? Just, uh, Sabrina. Oh, I took more... care of her already. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here's one cup of flour. And... Here's two and a quarter. You guys like my cute little jars I got at Big Lots for four bucks? Love them, love them, love them. I debated on those. I looked at those things like five times before I bought them. <laughs> okay. Oh, did you make the same? Jessica or Jesse's asking why. I'm not sure which thing she was asking why about. I have no idea. Something you said just a second ago. Well, she'll have to tell me. Oh, apparently you must have answered it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now, if 
I wasn't yakking, this would have taken me about half the time, but you guys can see how quick those are to whip up, okay? Then, um, oh, whoops, I forgot. Wait. Hmm. Huh. Okay. All right. Um, where's my sugar? All right, here we are. Now, uh, okay, so now you can take your um, balls. I'll show you two different ways you can do this, okay? I'll show you mom's way and I'll show you the other way you can do it. Take your balls and roll it up. Dip, this is how the recipe does it. Dip it in half, put it on here, smush it down, and sprinkle it with sugar, okay? Or the other way is to roll it down, push it, take a little bit of water, and just tap it like that and sprinkle it. That's the way mom does her sugar cookies, how okay? How dare you touch so, these cookies with your bare hands? How dare I touch them with my bare hands? Well, get over it. Okay. <laughs> so, I will eat them, darling. You will eat them? Yes. Okay, so normally what I do is just put all of them on here first, and then we'll do the dip and sprinkle. Oh, that could be a new dance, the dip and sprinkle. Let's see, how <laughs> would we sure do that? that means. The dip and sprinkle. Dip and sprinkle. The dip and sprinkle. Sounds like a toddler Ooh, dance. The dip and <laughs> sprinkle. Hey, thanks. <laughs> I'm trying to make cooking fun and festive for people it here. It's fun, yes. I think coming up with the dip and sprinkle is a great idea. Yep. See, does anybody agree with me? Somebody please, be on my side. Okay, here we go. Now, da -da 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 -da. okay, so the dip and sprinkle. Okay, no, that doesn't that doesn't work very well because you need to dip everything first and then you just need to sprinkle. So the dip, 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 and sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Dip, 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 sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. How we do that? Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. How's that? Does that do something? Okay, you're not paying attention. You're chatting and you should not be chatting. I'm just telling everybody to come over to YouTube. Sorry. To tell them to come watch the dip and sprinkle? Yes. Okay, and then if You're your sugar totally gets the dip and sprinkle. If you if you kind of miss Okay. Ta da. There you go. Mm. Now, we're gonna throw these in the oven for twelve to fifteen minutes. It'll probably be closer to fifteen, but that's okay. Let me wash my hands. And ta da! There we go. Now, yes? Darlene, Mike, I'm gonna be making your biscuits on Friday for a ladies' luncheon on Saturday. They are awesome, I'm sure you will love them. Yay! Okay, <laughs> Thank let me you. get a drink. I put a lot of effort into perfecting them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, now, for the oven, baked chicken recipe that's on the same page. We're gonna make that gluten-free, and I'm gonna show you how. So if you're gluten-free, oops, didn't mean to do that. That is okay. Oh, we're making gluten-free Um, yeah. Then you can do it. So I'm taking my gluten-free gluten baking or... mix. You've had it all the time. You just don't know it. Oh, Wait, oh, were you making the chicken in the mm. same, uh... <laughs> you're making the chicken in the same post? Yeah. Oh, yay. Thank you. Okay, so you can see right here, I got this, oh no, you can't see because the the thing got messed up with defrosting. I paid $1.67 for these boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Okay. Yummy, yummy. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these up into sections like so. Now, chicken is easiest to cut when it is semi-frozen, okay? So there's a little um, 
FYI for you. Our friends out of Goshen today put out a video on butchering chickens. So if you want to see how that's done, <laughs> go, <laughs> go check it out. Although I will have to say I did the math and I think they only made, if, if the numbers were right, I kind of guesstimated on the other numbers, but butchering their own chickens, they were able to pay themselves about five to eight dollars uh, an hour, depending on depending on how many hours. I assume they did eight hours. They may not have done that many, but um, <laughs> I determined that for five to eight dollars an hour, I will go ahead and just let the factory butcher my chickens for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if I'll ever eat another chicken again. <laughs> okay, so this one we're making dairy-free and gluten-free. So what I'm going to do is instead of putting margarine or butter in here, and yes, I am touching this with my goopy chicken hands. So just so you guys know, whenever I do that, I bleach the kitchen down. And hey, what you do? I bleach everything I touch. Yes, you guys just don't know I do it, but I do. <laughs> is that why we come home and the house stinks? <laughs> no, right. Yes, that's why you come home and the house smells like bleach. Well, okay. Occasionally it does. So yeah. I just put a layer of um, <gasps> avocado oil in there, and I'm dipping my chicken in. You dip the you. Actually, what you're supposed to do is dip it in the oil first and dip it in, but that's all right. You know me, I kind of roll with the punches. All right, so we're gonna get these. Okay, let's make this easy, good grief. <laughs> there we go. So these were not boneless, right? Yeah. They were boneless. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah, these were boneless chicken thighs. And okay, there, now let's do this the tar quick way. There we go. The um, roll and dip. The roll and dip. Jenna asks, whole package or pound price? For what? I, I think it was the... Oh, it was $1.67 a pound. Yeah. $1.67. I don't really... Guys, Colorado actually, especially Heidi and I are going to be doing um, some videos on this either this week or next week. Just so you know, Heidi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> poor Heidi. What kind of oil did you use? No, Avocado pardon? oil. Because uh, Simply Joyful is asking, can you use any other oil? You can use yeah. vegetable oil or yeah. canola oil or... Butter or margarine gives the best flavor, but since I'm dairy-free, uh, I just do avocado oil because I like it better. Can but that's use... just a personal preference. Would olive oil work or is that to not have you can right? You can. It might make it taste a little interesting. But now, normally what you would do is you would put the chicken on and then you would add biscuits on the other side. But... Since we're dairy free, I am just cooking up chicken and I'm cooking up extra for tomorrow's lunch, okay? So not all of this is gonna be for tonight's dinner. Well, if BJ and Ellie eat it, it will be, but I don't think they are, they're both working late. So um, this is gonna be extras for lunch. Uh -huh. There we go, we're gonna throw that in the oven. Christina, we are cooking um, oven, was it oven baked chicken? Yes. Or Oven fried chicken. This one's oven fried chicken. Oven fried chicken. It's on the same post as the uh, honey spice snaps here. Let me go ahead and share that. We already made the honey spice snaps. Right. Okay. Now, here's my chicken. It's, oh dear. Whoops. Oh dear. Whoopsie daisy. Yay. Okay. There we go. Now, then, to go with the chicken. Hold on just a second. Entertain them for a minute, Mike. Oh, I can't do that. That'll be a copyright Yeah, we'll be a copyright claim. <laughs> yeah, we, we have to be careful about not humming other people's music. Because <laughs> that might, might look bad there. See, YouTube. that's why you, you sing the dip and sprinkle, because then you know that that's not going to be a problem. Yeah, dip and you're sprinkle? right. What's dip and that's, sprinkle? That's mom's new dance move. See, she's dip washing everything with bleach. Everything's getting bleached. So for all but, of you germaphobes out there. 
But we Where don't eat off the table right away after it's been bleached, because that would be a bad thing. <laughs> Well, wouldn't it be? Isn't okay. Bleach, like, bad for you if you... So now, what are we going to have next? Ingesting. We are going to take and have some applesauce with cinnamon and sugar. Oh, how dare you defile applesauce with cinnamon and sugar? So. Oh. What? So, Life of a Wife is asking, how would you arrange a deep freezer in a studio? I'm thinking about buying one, but we're planning on living in a 420 square foot apartment. Is it even worth it for that apartment with two people? Um, well, my aunt has one, and she's a single lady living in a studio apartment, and same size, and she has it in a closet. And her front, David, come up. Her front. Oh, um, my bad. Here, let me get in. Sorry. Her front here. coat closet. She doesn't use it as a coat closet. She uses her front uh, coat closet as a pantry instead. So that is something that you could do um, for something like that. And like our coat closet, we have a coat closet by the front door and a coat closet by the garage. And they're both within 10 feet of each other. So I turn the one by the garage into a pantry. Yeah, so that's what I did. Yes, my son? I guess if you want. Okay, so now what am I going to have? I am going to have some um something. No, I'm waiting to see. Coleslaw? Yes, that's what I was thinking. Yes. So we're gonna have applesauce, coleslaw, and baked chicken Ooh. and some rice. This is what down. we're gonna have, yeah. For oh. our gluten free dinner. Whoa, dear bandana grandma just said, I just ordered my eighth dining on a dime cookbook. Whoa! Yay! Thank you, We Susie. had another lady today say that her and all of the women family members have bought dining, and they love it. Like, thank you! So Jasmine wants to know, was the chicken seasoned before the baking mix went on it? Um, well, if I cooked it right, it would be, and I forgot! <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Oh, uh oh, are you gonna make a terrible thing here, huh? Here we go. So, to adapt and overcome. <laughs> what, what seasonings are you putting on there? Is that what's in there? Normally, the recipe? I put our seasoned salt, but I'm out of salt and I need to make some up, so I'm just gonna sprinkle it with a little salt, onion, and garlic powder. She's out of seasoned salt, not salt. But yeah, yeah, I'm out of seasoned salt, sorry. Okay, so that's how I'm gonna do it. Could you there put you go. dead sea salt on something like that? Yeah. Would that taste good? That'd be fine. Okay, so now back to our coleslaw here. Huh. I'm just going to shred this up. Speaking of sea salt, Heather said just popping in quick. Got my sea salt body scrub last week. Tried it today. Great. Love it. Oh, Thank you yay. for the good product. Right here, guys. Homemade SaltMakingSupplies.com. 50% off, guys. And I just found a whole bunch of inventory that I relisted today. And I, guys, I'm closing it on Friday. Whatever's left on Friday, I'm just not going to mess with it. Ellie and I are going out of town next week. So... Ooh, so Mike and Dave are going to be cooking? It's going to be Mike and Dave. Yay. Show. Uh -oh. And it may be I'm the scared. Mike and Dave show on Wednesday. I have my appointment on Wednesday <laughs> at 345 in Boulder. So I don't think I'm going to be getting over here. All right. It's going to be the so, man show. We're going to have to come up with some good stuff. <laughs> listen to you. Okay, I don't know why I just did that. Uh, do you probably don't know off the top of your head if you have any of the one pound titanium? I did before the show started. Sabrina said she so, was looking for it, but it shows they're sold out. So that would be, but if it shows that, it would be the key. Type in where, well, right here. Okay, click refresh. Dun, dun, refreshing. Okay, scroll down. It says I have none in stock. Nope, I have four ounce and eight ounces. So the one pounds must have gone. So somebody must have bought the one pounds. Kathy says, love your jar, you have your flour in. Lately my Big Lots has been a disappointment. You got yours at Big Lots? Oh, so here's the thing guys, they're remodeling all of the Big Lots and they're building new stores. Ours is a totally brand new store, but Oh, I love it. I love it better than Walmart. And I'm going there now to get stuff before I'll go to Walmart. They need to have me as their spokesperson. Because I love big lots. 
Well, you need big lots. If you want some sponsored videos, give me a give me an email here. I love you guys. Mm. And the new picture that I had in the show when we were at the table, that's from Big Lots. So, so sim yeah. Simply Joyful is asking, where are you and Ellie going? Um, and does are anybody you, know where the <laughs> grater went? Uh, mm, I do not. Great. Why do you need a grater? Ooh, okay. They need about three Oops. more minutes. Uh, <laughs> All right, okay. hold on. You can see him? Okay. Um, Laurel, is are, are Tara and Ellie filming the trip? No. Okay, so... Ellie and I are just going on a little, so before, before we set up our, I love my children, but they don't put the dishes where they belong and I can't find anything. <laughs> okay. Does anybody know where the cutting boards are? We had like four cutting boards. The sugar back there. Here's a grater. Well, the well, grater's in the. Not clean, but oh, okay, okay. that's fine. Uh, no. Nope, that's fine. No, you just... no, 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 it's fine. I'm trying to, I'm trying to escape. Ah. Get over there and let me do this part. It's fine. It's good. They need to see you while you're still on. They need to see me before I leave. So before we decided our UK trip, so instead of grading, guys, I'm just gonna chop up the carrots. So see, we're adapting and overcoming. We couldn't find the grater. It's okay. We're gonna take out. Our frustrations, isn't that lovely? Okay. Actually, this way I don't have to ruin my knuckles anyway. Actually, dear, Thank I you. have to say, after you said that about the kids not putting anything away, if they put them in the dishwasher, I would say... That's true. That I, I would not complain I about that. I apologize, my children. <laughs> I apologize. Run, Dave, run. Okay, um, let me finish chopping. Turrets on! Woohoo! We're gonna go see her in Norway in six weeks. No, in six weeks. Yes. No. No, because she's at the end of the trip, so it'll be like ten weeks. Okay. <laughs> so I'm putting in my chopped carrots because we adapted and overcome. Remember? Okay. So Ellie and I had a trip planned to the hot springs here in Colorado before the London trip because she wants to have a relaxation and I want to have a relaxation so we planned a mother-daughter getaway bonding moment and uh, actually we're really not into bonding we just both wanted to get away um, <laughs> well they like to go sit together and and enjoy a place without speaking <laughs> exactly because our family is very vocal no. Um, vocal? It's very nice to go somewhere and just sit and not have to talk all the time. So, Ellie and I are leaving next week to go do that trip before we go to Ireland, which is why the new Dining on a Dime cookbook is probably not going to get finished by Christmas. So, Ruby, um, uh, the shipping on that book, if you add it to the card, it will tell you for sure. But if you're in the United States, uh, I think it's $5. It's around $5, yeah. But if you add it to cart, it'll tell you without before you have to actually yep. buy. Okay. So Music Mad is asking why sugar oh. in a salad? Because it makes it taste good. Just a little bit? Mm. Yeah. It doesn't it bring out the taste of something in the salad? Usually, Dave, you can come up. Usually when you add sugar to a recipe, it helps um bring the flavor out. All right, guys, here you go. So your mom says, in case I forget. Yeah, careful not to drop them. Yeah, they smell not. delicious. Tilt down, okay. camera one. No, that's right. You don't no, have to. No, she said right. tilt up. Tilt up, they're, okay. They're super, super hot. hot. So we really should wait, but let me. Doesn't that look good? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, they smell really good. Okay. It's totally different smell. Oh man, these are super hot. Okay, they we're gonna have to wait just a minute. Um. So Jill in Wichita okay, says. Me, uh oh. No, no. Tara, you could get me that chopper for Mother's Day. <laughs> okay. Really saw your stress on your sure. vegetables. 
Um, okay, we're trying to get these cool so we can taste test here. Let's They're see. Still... They're still super, super soft. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I make good cookies. Mm -hmm. That's really oh. good. Yum. Oh, yum. Sabrina said, mm. very well deserved little getaway you and your daughter are having. Yes. The funny so, thing is they planned it before we planned to go overseas. And so, so they're going to be taking that little bit off mm. and then we're going to be back. They're, well, they'll be back for a little bit and then we're all going to be over there. Mm-hmm. And yeah. we will still be posting things while we're there. And yes. Doing... We may, we'll probably do some live, but not nearly as much. Probably. We we'll won't. probably do more live. <laughs> we might do more live. Well, the only issue is if, if we don't have bandwidth, yeah. we won't do live, then we'll have to just upload them, but we'll see. Okay, so for our dinner, for 75 cents a person, we're having boneless, skinless chicken thighs, oven baked or oven fried. We're having coleslaw, applesauce, and then some rice. Okay? Yum. And then for dessert, we're having some cookies. And let's eat dessert first because why not? Life is short. Don't you agree? Ouch. So. What'd you do? Burn himself. Oh, go run it our hot water. Or cold water. Hot water? Cold water. So Tammy wants to know, are you still going to be in Woman's World magazine? Oh! Oh, that's what I was going to have you pick up! Ah! So. <laughs> Woman's World magazine is on the shelves now and guess who's in it? You? Are, the, are they still on? Are you slapping the counter? Is the headline, get it together, people? No, I wish it was. Do they do all cats' headlines there? Okay, get the hello. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so if you guys want to check us out in Women's World, hopefully they did not misrepresent us this time. I told the lady, I said, it has been 10 years since I did an interview with you guys because the last time you did it, they completely, completely lied. Lied. Lied about everything. everything. They said I was a coupon queen. I never use coupons. And I told them, I said, you you cannot run that. I said, I will sue you if you run that. You're not going to run it. And they haven't talked to me since because I was so mad that they just completely misrepresented me. But this is a, uh, a freelance This is a new them, right? freelance lady because I told her that before I started. And she was a new freelance lady. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Well, if you don't mind, I'll make sure I get it right. And so she sent me what was supposed to be printed. So we'll see. Jack, mm -hmm. Margaret says, hi, Jack. How are you? Good. So you got an award last week, right? Yeah. What was the award for? Uh, humility and gentleness. Oh. So he got an award at school for humility and gentleness. And on that same day at school, I said, did you tell all your friends you're going over to Europe for your summer vacation? And you know what he no. said? No. Why not? Do you well, remember why you told me why not? Why brag? No. He said, it's rude to brag, Mom. I didn't say it's he told rude me to that... brag. I'm just like, well, I didn't want to brag. It's he like... told me the same thing. I don't want to brag. <laughs> that is so nice. Mm. Can I have a cookie? I only have These are nummy. These mm. are really nummy. So, let's see. Um... Somebody asked, oh, Laurel, I've been busy and haven't been able to watch. Are BJ and Ellie going to Ireland and Norway with you? Ellie is, Ellie, BJ isn't. He he has a new job that's going really, really well for him, and he just can't take off very yeah. much. So here's what's going on. All of us are going but BJ, but my sister-in-law, Shayla, yay, we're so excited, gets to come for two weeks with oh, us. She's... The first two weeks she's coming with us. I didn't know she was hopping on the bandwagon. Yep. And she turned in her passport last week, so hopefully it will be here in time. Does so it, we have a quandary, guys. And I got to thinking about this when you were talking about you and Ellie. So we arrive in London at 7 a.m., which will be midnight our time. But we can't get into our Airbnb until 3 p.m. We are going to be so tired having to stay up all night long for us, what are we going to do for those, let's see, it would be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 8 hours. What are we going to do for those 8 hours? Mike said him and Ellie just went to Hyde Park, their luggage, and just went to Hyde Park. But do you think maybe we could go to Hyde Park and sleep on the grass and have one person, like, be on guard and rotate? <laughs> I'd probably stay conscious the whole time. No worries. Then you could sleep. Well, when Ellie and I went, we asked... Yeah, you're not pleasant when you don't sleep. No. <laughs> 
No, not no not but what not. we did is we just sat there and kind of edged for a little while, and then we went and did some other things, and then we went back to the hotel and went to bed early. And that worked great for me, so. But Yeah, but you're going to have five other people then. Well, that's true, and you'll be there, so that'll make it harder. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. So, so what do um, we do for eight hours is what we're wondering. So when, I mean, I'm going to contact the host and see if there's any possible way to get in sooner. But uh, when when Ellie and I went, I contacted the host that because we realized, wow, that's going to be a you're going to be shattered. <laughs> we'll be shattered, yes. And um, he he wasn't able to let us in sooner, but he said uh, I did not know this, but we could leave our luggage at a train station. It, there's a left luggage place where you pay them a little bit to hold it for a while. And so then we did that and then we were kind of untethered to be able to at least go relax. So we sat around the railway station and then we said, oh, let's go to the park. So we went to Hyde Park and sat around there for a, a while and it was nice. It's a beautiful so day. So we're not sure what to do about that. Need to figure that one out. And... Philosophy Phoenix says, take melatonin on the plane so that you can sleep. And it's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Oh! seen you forever um <laughs> we uh we also figured out that we don't have a car big enough to get us all to the airport so i think we're gonna have to have mom <laughs> and bj both <laughs> i was wondering if anybody noticed christina noticed she's the first one to say anything <laughs> um, mom and bj take us to the airport in two cars, I think, is what we're going to have to do. But then the question is, we have to be there three hours early. So does mom stay at the airport? Because she's not going to get to see the kids except for that three hours. So does she sit and wait around the airport with us? Well, she probably would want to just because so, otherwise just coming home and hanging out in the quiet house. Who would want to do that? But then she can give you kisses. What? It's funny. A number of people saying sleep on the plane. You know, we have trouble sleeping on planes, don't we? Yeah. Although I think oh, yeah. Jack would probably do okay. Okay, so we have to tell you the story of the burned sock. Although we will try to sleep on the plane. But first, Jack and Dave got a nifty gifty in the mail. I forgot about this. Sabrina Wait, said you made a gifty? Sabrina said you made all that food in a quick tick. That's awesome. Yeah, it really doesn't take long, and it would have taken me half the time if I wasn't yakking. First class, what? Yeah, really, just the talking makes it take longer. Yeah. Okay. So this is for Mr. Jonathan Kellum. Let me let me do the top here just so you don't accidentally cut it because you don't want to cut this because I know what it is. You do. Okay, hold on. You hold that one. Don't peek. Come here, Dave. Okay, hold we'll peek. Here. Uh -oh. Here, you, oh, you guys can monitor the Jack package. Okay. Man, no they could have waited like a month or something. That would have been our birthday. That's true. They're oh yeah, your we birthday. We need to get our fan <gasps> mail. Four collection. weeks to Dave and Jack's birthday. Yep. Woohoo! Man, only oh, June he's 11th, gonna be ten. June 9th. And he's gonna be driving. Oh my baby. He can I drive a standard. He can drive a standard. He's been driving a standard. I had him driving me around all oh. day. Okay. I thought I should sit in the back, so I feel like I'm really... I guess it's illegal to sit in the back, isn't it? Yes. Okay, these are from Mrs. Davis. I have no okay. idea what this She is a wonderful be. viewer who watches us all the time. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. What is this? Dun, 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 dun. What is oh, it's stuck. Dun, dun. It's stuck. It's Wait, stuck. On, Oops. I, mean, I had to be careful. What? <gasps> it's international money. What? Hold on. Wait. What? Nice. Right here. You see the queen's Ooh. picture. Hang you know what it is? Oh, it's wait. English. That, yeah. It's British yeah. pounds. That's British Dude. pounds. See, these are pounds. Wait, hold on. Okay. Can you read it? It's cursive. Jack, read it out loud. Dear Jack, I hope you had a lot of fun on your vacation to the United Kingdom. Here are some... Oh, I don't... Okay. Let's see. Coins? Here are some coins to spend. Nice. Um, I think. I think oh, thank you. Ten U.S. dollars. Ten. Ten. Yep. Wait. Yeah, you're right. Ten, ten U.S. US money. Ten yeah. U.S. money. Oh. oh I'm opening. <laughs> I do so, Mrs. Mine. Davis, uh, her. All of your Love seeing all your inventions on on the videos. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Well, so she sent the, right the boys. The her husband went to Britain. I don't know while back and had some leftover money and so she sent oh. it to the boys oh. so now we can go potty <laughs> you know what's funny is that ellie and i we didn't you have to pay to go to the bathroom over there so we didn't use any pay toilets anywhere <laughs> although there was oh, one cool. that had That's a big sign cool. but then it was nice thanks it had a, a handwritten sign that said no paying right now 
What what is that the paper one you have? How many pounds? Thank you, Joni. Is that a one pound? Wait, note? Dave, it looks like it's five. Dave gets wow, a paper five. one. It just got five, and I'm not sure what the. Well, she gave you more points. Oh, she did. Yes. Yeah. Sticky was getting in the way. Yep, that's five pounds. That's a little pound sign. That. Little... Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was a pound sign or. Let's see. Uh. Da, 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 da. So here's the here's the Mother, question. Is Mike going to sing God Save the Queen at my funeral or is he going to sing Let Freedom Ring at my funeral? <laughs> <laughs> Ruby says, "Yeah." Be first, Dave, Ruby says, "Yes, I am 27 and I can't drive a stick." We we kind of yeah. have this thing with our kids we're like since we live in Colorado, we're thinking you have to well stick shit anywhere so we live easy, would be, be honest, we want but... them to drive a stick. Yeah. At least enough to get to where it's like a bike where they can, and 10 I'll, years from now, they can jump in one and go. Are pens? Uh, pens. But we also, since we live pens. in Colorado, so the ones are pens. we okay. make sure that before they get their license, they've driven up and down into the mountains a number of times. And we usually try to make a trip into Denver with them driving. Which David is... drove us all the way up the mountain and all the way down yesterday. We uh, live to tell about it. Well, and he did really well driving in the mountains. And he lived to tell about it, even with the explosion we had. He stayed mm. calm. We had an explosion. That was what? funny. He <laughs> stayed calm. Word. He kept driving. Explosion? He didn't panic. Remember oh, our oh, explosion right. yeah. in the car yesterday? Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> so I thought it was Jack and Ellie in the back seat messing around. And they were like, what'd you guys do up there? I was like, we didn't do anything. We thought you did something. <laughs> there was no rocks in the road because I was watching because it's spring and we have rocks fall out of the mountains all the time that you can hit. Mike will know about that. And so yeah. we heard this huge explosion. We're like, what was the explosion? So tell them. Talk um, loud so they can hear. So, so um, me and Ellie eventually... And like me and Ellie were like, wait, I think that me and I think it was actually me and Dave that were like, oh, that, that was we think that's the chip bag. It was because, our bag of because chips. Because the chip bag was like packed full of air, and with going up in elevation, the air got lighter, so it just exploded. But it sounded like a big explosion. But Dave stayed calm. He didn't panic. He did great. I so, just continued on driving like nothing. He just happened. kept driving. So here is the socks. The burned sock. Do we want to tell them what happened with the burned sock? Burnt sock. Actually, Dave is Dave's doing a pretty oh. good job not panicking if so, something goes wrong in the car, which is good. That's part of Except for if I'm in the passenger seat. If I'm in the yeah. passenger seat, I flinch so bad. Well, he, he keeps <laughs> saying when he's driving, uh, like, why do I have to drive a standard so much? And he keeps saying, you have to drive it until you get in the car and you don't even think about it and you're just doing it. Because that's the point where we know it's going to be I'm getting safer. There. I'm almost there. Yeah. I'm so close. Um, and it's helpful to be able to drive a standard. Like uh, We have a lot of different reasons why we've needed to drive one from time to time. But when we go uh, over the UK and Ireland and stuff, uh, we were going to get a standard there because the price is a lot less. I'm, and it's on the left, but it's really not that much harder. I'm getting to the point in the standard where if I get in an automatic, my hand just reaches down to the shifter and I'm like, oh wait, this isn't that car. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Jack, come tell him about the burn. Well, wait, we started on the burn sock. Come tell him about the burn sock. What happened? So I got, sock. so I was playing around in the creek and I got my shoe wet and my sock. Uh, and so what was on the ground up there all over the place? What? Snow, yeah, snow. It was it was like covered in snow. I mean, we had a lot of snow. Except for where it was. Snow. I warned you. Um, yep. But <laughs> so mom decided that it would be fun to stick my sock on a yep. stick and put it over the fire, like so, um, and <laughs> to dry it out. Uh, what? But um, so it started smoking, and I thought it was steam. Steam was coming out of here. I was sure it was steam. You were sure it was steam because there was water on it, I think. Uh, so, she thought it was steam, but it, but um, it was actually... Um, Your sock. Yeah. On fire. You, you, yeah. <laughs> Take that one to show and tell at school. <laughs> nah. Oh, brother. So, anyway. Sharice uh, uh, is asking what's uh, the difference between the two cookbooks. The, cl uh, the classic edition is the one we've had for a long time. 20th anniversary edition is one we came out with uh, about six months ago, and it's 
It has 100 more pages, which there's 28 more recipes, and then some stories and pictures and stuff like that. So, yep. so that's the difference between the two. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, so we're going to go see Turret in Nor Norway. Cannot wait. We rented a barn. We're going to stay in. We got to find, we got one more night. We got a book in Norway for our first night there. But yeah, it's I a barn on a family cool. farm, and it's in a really great location. So that should be really awesome. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, so, oh, ben, Bandana Grandma asked, did you stop at the donut house? I heard some oh. sad news about the donut house. What? Are they closing? You know the uh, the loop that they're doing? <gasps> they're taking out the donut they're house? They're take it out to put that dumb loop through there that nobody wants. <laughs> Oh, no way! So everybody write letters to Estes Park, Colorado and tell them no on the loop! <laughs> well, that loop is the stupidest thing. It's going to do nothing but they, cause chaos. They get these dumb ideas in the government up there sometimes. The Estes Park and, government has no brains. And when they change something from what's been working for a long time, it doesn't work so well. They have this idea to make a loop around the city so you can only go one direction. Um, which basically means if you need to go that way a half a block, you have to drive all the way around. <laughs> And I think it's going to cause a lot of chaos. For uh, a lot of Margaret, people. I have not got the card yet, but we didn't. Ch did you check the mail today? Uh, we checked the house mail, but not the. Box. Okay, we didn't check the PO box, so we'll check it tomorrow. Sabrina, Tara, you're too funny. Burning down the house with socks. <laughs> yeah. Well, we were over a campfire, so we did a picnic up in the mountains in Rocky Mountain National Park, and we had a campfire with a picnic, and so I had it on a stick, holding it over the fire. I thought high enough to not burn. So. Um, Bandana Grandma said, I love your picnic area. So nice. Thank you. Yeah, so it was still yeah. all snowed in when you were yeah, up there? Yeah, it was pretty snowy. I mean, there were spots where the sun was that it wasn't, but it 95% of it was snow, yeah. Nancy, do they all drive on the opposite side of the road as us? Uh, England and Scotland and Ireland are on the left. I think Norway's on the right. Turin, is that correct? I think so. Um, so, so it'll be interesting to switch and then switch. Yeah. Because, uh... I feel like it would be not that difficult to switch to your left hand. Would it? Oh my goodness. It's not really that hard. Yeah. Georgina says, if you drive a stick first, you can drive anything. It's true. And our oldest son has also driven uh, Model T and the Model A and... Sticks really aren't that hard, mm -hmm. though. Yeah. Like, you can... And those are different. Out. Yeah. You just need to apply the right amount of gas and not pop the clutch on while you're, yeah, changing yep. gears. Lori, they did a loop in floor. It confused all the old people. Bad idea. Uh, yeah, I think it seems like the majority of the people in Estes Park don't like the loop idea, but the town's pushing it through anyway. So, but it's not done yet. So I think there's still some hope that somewhere somebody will. Yeah, Turn Bandana Grandma around. sat in our picnic spot and crocheted in peace and quiet and munched on picnic food. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Well, there's a stream Except there. Except for when the people bring music. I'm like, you are in the mountains. What are we playing? All oh, this music in the mountains. <laughs> Jonathan, Florida Singularity said, I never heard of the Donut House until two minutes ago. Google them. Now I'm upset. No, Luke. I know. They've been there like 60, 70 years you or something. You should get the address for the Estes Park Town Council. So... <laughs> We should. We <laughs> could bring giant things of notes. So, oh, Mama B, I ordered five more of the classic dining today. So exciting! Ah, thanks. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. We thought we were totally out, and I there was one palette that had other books on top of it, and I thought it was. It was not a marketing ploy. I thought it was twentieths, and and I was packing twentieths, and I went and I unloaded the stuff off the top, and I opened the first box, and I thought, oh, <laughs> these are classics. <laughs> thought we were yeah. done with them, so. But I'm glad. At least it's an opportunity for people to uh, so we want them have gone. another chance. If it, if we so. want them gone. And yeah, Turid says we drive like you. So oh, on the yay. right side. See, you guys, ha you guys got brains over so there. So we'll be driving on the left and on the right. Um, homemade soap making supplies .com, guys. I have my Dead Sea Salt Scrub <clears> and some of my um, goat milk cream if you guys need it. I had a lady today say she wishes she would have bought 10 more because she loved it so much it cleared up her psoriasis. Everybody, I'm sending this to Out of Goshen because they all have skin issues. <laughs> Elizabeth so, saying that Rick Steve's videos are great too. He's the traveling on a dime go-to guy. Yeah. Yeah, I used to work for PBS and I would see his shows a lot. And I, what? Scroll down. Yeah. And it might be interesting to see what he says about um, about what things are good to see in those areas. Mm -hmm. I 
I won't forget what side to drive on, particularly if Tara and Ellie are in the car. Yeah. Actually, I was I didn't have any trouble staying on the left. Um, I did have Ellie kind of helping me because it was hard keeping the car in the center of the lane for a while. So and somebody so, said they took their driver's test in a Model T. We should have Dave take it in Grandpa's Model T. So no. Cool. Uh, Are you kidding? The the person would, would be, be distracted great. by the fact that you're driving a Model T. Yeah, they wouldn't be taking any out to move past me. Cause... This is our family vehicle. It's like a, we just gotta make it work. <laughs> So, um, Jack, Jamie wants to know. No. Jamie no. wants to know: Are the cookies good, Jack? Jamie wants to know if her cookies her are good. Cookie, that you're her eating. cookies are good. Her cookies? Uh oh! <laughs> I was gonna take some over to her. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Uh, have both editions? Oh, Teresa, have both editions of the cookbook need backup? Very protective of them. <laughs> that's you hilarious. know what? Thank when you. we're dead. That is going to be one of those books like the Fanny Farmer cookbook. I think that's what our book is going to be. What we I should have done that bones. we didn't do is we should have put Get It Together People on the cover. Mm-hmm. That would yeah. be a real classic. in the title. <laughs> oh, see, Deborah, I got my goat milk cream today, and it's heavenly. She loved it. So I am announcing my presidential candidacy today. <laughs> You're going to go for the Get It so Together people. everyone party. can sing God Save the Queen when I get elected. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? you say president or queen? I said my presidency and they can sing God Save the Queen when I get elected. I see. So, I am announcing my presidency, Tara, for 2020. <laughs> get It Together people! Ooh, here I can do the spatula. Oh! Oh, I didn't need that ear for anything. <laughs> Sorry. You know, a spatula compresses air a thousand times. I did not know that. Life of wife. How old are all your children? I keep thinking David is 17. Our oldest is BJ is 21. Ellie is 20. David is about to be 16. <laughs> and yes. uh, Jack is about to Jack be 10. Jack is about to be 10. And, um, and Emily is 20 also. She's my niece. And, and she is off of school. So, yeah. So... Yeah, it's a big spread. We used to have more people on the show than we do lately because they're all out doing other things. Georgia, uh, Georgina says they put in what they call a super street here in San Antonio. Cost seven million. Now they're spending millions to redo it. I know. That's what's going to happen. And they're going to ruin <laughs> that, Estes Park. Would that be seven billion? Because seven million seems. They're going to ruin Estes Park. They're probably going to. Well, in Estes Park, they used to have, uh, like, they would hire kind of kids to be like traffic cops or young, mm -hmm. very young people and they would blow the whistle and they would only run pedestrians across in every direction all at the same time when the cars weren't going. Mm -hmm. And at one point they decided they wanted to save money on hiring those kids to do that. So they made it like a regular city, but then all the cars and the people were constantly conflicting with each other and it just caused a major traffic jam. So mm -hmm. Brenda, if I was an American, I would vote for you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you can vote for me over there, too. I don't care. If I get elected in England, I would be happy to be the queen. I have no issues. I have lots of practice. I think I would be a good queen, don't you think? <laughs> I know you think. <laughs> Everyone knows you're the queen in the family, right? <laughs> All of we're her cousins that. spoke about that. Can... Oh, we're not on Facebook, are we? No, unfortunately. But... Yes, smell vision All right, guys, please check out our Dining on a Dime cookbook, 50% off for the classic edition. Grab it if you want gifts for Christmas. This is it. When they're gone, they're gone. The classic There's ones? not going to be 50% unless we have to have a fundraiser for ourselves for something important, <laughs> like our house burned down. Um, no. <laughs> but, no, do not no. jinx us. But we just paid for it. 50%. We have insurance, right? Yeah. You paid it? Yeah. Well, actually, no, it's this month. I, haven't I know. It. It's not till the 27th. But right now it says I can't pay it because it says a third party's paying it. So we need to call them and say, no, they're not going to pay it. So we need to we pay it. Because we paid our house off. So 50% yeah. off our classic edition Dining on Dime cookbook, homemade soap making supplies.com, my wonderful goat milk cream. And my wonderful Dead Sea Salt. And I have several soaps that people had me hold, but they didn't order. So I put those soaps back into inventory. Got my mica straightened out. So I got that inventory in. Bandana, Bandana Grandma says, until Mike finds another box of books. Actually, I was, <laughs> I opened one on each of the remaining no. palettes to make sure. Because <laughs> there were only uh, a couple more palettes after that. In fact, we were thinking, wow. We and don't they, really want to reorder before we go, so 
Hopefully we won't need to. But. Well, and if you order media mail, they probably won't get there in time, but you could put a little note and forgive mom all the kisses she wants day on Sunday. It would make a great gift. A great gift, forgive mom all the kisses she wants day. So that would have to be priority, right? Priority would get there in time. Media wouldn't. Just but you could put a little note. Quick. You could put a little note. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a note with a picture of it in there sometimes. Yes. Uh, Judy, can't wait to get the 20th anniversary book one day. I want to make my own donuts, but got six for 89 at Walmart yesterday. Oh, six for 89 cents at Walmart. Amanda's husband's laughing at all our quotes. How cute. <laughs> That's awesome. Our oh, number hey. one favorite quote is the only difference between this place and the Titanic was Titanic had a band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I remember so when true. you came up with that. That was a frightening time. Uh, Kim yeah, says, we'll "Oh, Kim, Kim Arnett. Hi, guys. Made your barbecue meatballs last week. They were delicious. She may be at our house on Friday." Yeah, Tar was what? just talking about that. But... Um, by the way, uh, Jennifer, if you're on here, I private messaged you, so go check your Facebook page. All right, guys, please like, subscribe, and share. Visit us livingonadime.com. Give us a great big thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on Wednesday. I don't know if I'll be here, but it might. Will so. Have a good night. Bye. Looking forward to it. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I can't end the broadcast because it's still loading me Facebook. Oh, I'll fix it. Just unplug it. <laughs> Just unplug it. Oh, wow. Uh, Thanks okay. for this. Remember when you do that with the printer, what happens? <laughs> Print 600 pages of... Okay, Mike's going to stop it. Dun dun. Goodbye, everyone. Have an awesome night. Boom. Here, I'm practicing my wave. Oh, maybe I should wait and let her do it. What is that? This is my queen wave Jackie for when I get elected no. president okay, like... in 2020. I'm not sure. Hold is on that a right? I'm not sure. Are we actually doing it? Father, what are you doing? Turning I'm off? doing my queen wave. There we go. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, oh are you okay? okay? <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> this was <Bye>. <laughs> Oh my lord. I'm waiting to let you get your clean weight in. Oh, there we go. <laughs>